a business needs both a spiritual and a business mission to be successful, especially at the beginning. The world is filled with talented poor people. All too often, they're poor or struggle financially or earn less than they are capable of, not because of what they know, but because of what they do not know. Action always beats inaction. The fear of losing money is real. Everyone has it. Even the rich. But it's not having fear that is the problem. It's how you handle fear. It's how you handle losing. It's how you handle failure that makes the difference in one's life. The primary difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they manage that fear. Explain that people look at a piece of real estate, or the name of a stock, and often make their decision based on what their eyes see, what a broker tells them or on a hot tip from a fellow worker. They often buy emotionally instead of rationally. 1031 jargon for section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code, which allows a seller to delay paying taxes on a piece of real estate that is sold for a capital gain through an exchange for a more expensive piece of real estate. Corporation, merely a legal document that creates a legal body without a soul. It's not a big building or a factory or a group of people. Using it, the wealth of the rich is protected. Financial IQ, financial intelligence that comes as a result of financial education. People with high financial IQ learn to use other people's money to become rich. Financial literacy, the ability to read and understand financial statements, which allows you to identify the strengths and weaknesses of any business. Cynics criticize, and winners analyze was. It's how you handle failure that makes the difference in one's life. By starting our own business, the comic book library, we were in control of our own finances, not dependent on an employer. The best part was that our business generated money for us, even when we weren't physically there. Our money worked for us. Instead of paying us money, Rich Dad had given us so much more. I don't like consumer debt. I actually have liabilities that are higher than 99% of the population, but I don't pay for them. Other people pay for my liabilities. They're called tenants. My next goal would be to have the excess cash flow from my assets reinvested into the asset column. The more money that goes into my asset column, the more my asset column grows. The more my assets grow, the more my cash flow grows. And as long as I keep my expenses less than the cash flow from these assets, I grow richer with more and more income from sources other than my physical labor. As this. His profession is accounting, but his business is real estate. You have the choice every day whether to be rich, poor, or middle class. Your spending habits reflect who you are. The poor have poor spending habits. A network. So if I want to become rich, I need to learn how to build a business network. I queried. I just invent, then wait until man comes around to needing what I've invented. My brain gets stronger every day because I exercise it. The stronger it gets, the more money I can make. Many people invest because they want to get rich quickly. So instead of becoming investors, they wind up being dreamers, hustlers, gamblers, and crooks. 
most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Because anger combines with love to create passion a key component of learning. If a person cannot master the power of self-discipline, it is best not to try to get rich. The fear of losing money is real. Everyone has it. Even the rich. But it's not having fear that is the problem. Wealth is a person's ability to survive so many number of days forward or, if I stopped working today, how long could I survive? Unlike. Trust that you have everything you need right now to be successful financially. All it takes to bring out your natural, God-given gifts is your desire, determination, and a deep faith that you have a genius and a gift that is unique. So for most people, the reason they don't win financially is because the pain of losing money is far greater than the joy of being rich. Another saying in Texas is, everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. Most people dream of being rich, but are terrified of losing money. So they never get to heaven. Cynics criticize and winners analyze.